Hey, what is up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're going to be doing a 425 Ryzen 3rd Gen gaming PC. Let's get right into it, shall we? But first, a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some awesome discounted game keys and more specifically Windows 10 licenses. So if you use the link in the description down below and then type in code TB20 at checkout, you'll get 20% off Windows 10 Pro licenses keys. And then you just go in, type it into the Windows 10 activator, and boom, you have Windows 10 Pro activated. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we build here on the channel. This one already has one on it, actually, from the time we previously built it. And you should definitely use it when building your next gaming PC. So please, use the link in the description down below, use code TB20, and save 20% today. Now, let's talk about this PC build. So this was a build that Matt and I did really recently. This is the really what we call the cheapest Ryzen 3rd gen APU build. And what we have now is a 1060 to throw in there, making it a $325 build to a $425 build with this card. Don't forget to check out that video wherever it is, you know, brick right corner somewhere. And that card is a uh, 1063, as Jackson mentioned, but there are a lot of options you can go with with a system like this. I know a lot of you probably think at ARCs 570, ARCs 580, those cards are also good options as well. But again, this is a 1063 gig we had on hand and it's gonna give you some more performance to those cards. But if you do plan on playing some games that require more VRAM, the 580 might be a good option for you. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, slap this thing in there and then just get straight to the benchmarks, not waste any more time at all, you know, so we get this video done. Now, when we build systems like this that are super cheap, but also upgradable, we normally don't show you guys what you can actually upgrade and how much of a performance increase you can get. And this is a perfect use case because at $100 on eBay, you can get a 1063 gig, slap this thing in there, pull out that six pin power that you had stowed away, and you can actually get really good performance, almost double performance based on some of the numbers we tested. So the first game we tested was Rainbow Six Siege, and this was low settings to match with the APU, but obviously, on this, we did run it with high settings and it did really good. The APU, that probably would have been out of the question. 
So on Rainbow Six Siege, we had an average of 70 FPS on the integrated graphics. That bumped up to 180 FPS on the 1060, which is more than double. And then we had a maximum of only 87 on the integrated graphics and a maximum of 318, which is, well, like triple or more on the 1060. Next with Far Cry 5, we saw a similar story. Games like Far Cry 5, which are like AAA titles, they're very demanding on the graphics card and adding an actual graphics card like a 1060 yielded a really good performance increase. The maximum frame rate on the integrated graphics was 29, the average was 24, and the minimum was 21. But with that 1060 installed, we had a maximum of 78, an average of 68, and a minimum of 61. A constant 60 FPS experience on a AAA title by just adding a $100 graphics card, and honestly, it was very impressive. One thing we will mention is the 1060 did get a little bit hot. It got up to like 83 Celsius, which is right around the range that it'll start thermal throttling. It's not like the range where you need to be like, oh my god, my computer's gonna blow up, but if you want the maximum performance, we do recommend going with the more airflowy case. This one has a tiny 120 millimeter fan in the front that barely does anything, and an even tinier 90 millimeter fan in the back, so airflow is very minimal in this case. But overall, the performance like across the board with the other games we tested, this thing is a really good 1080p, uh, over 60 FPS gaming PC that can actually play a lot of games like Fortnite, CSGO, and the games that we mentioned on screen before. Uh, it was a really awesome idea to upgrade this thing with a 1060. And as we mentioned, you could also go with something like a 570 or 580 if you want really even more performance because some games like Far Cry 5 would benefit from the extra VRAM that you get from something like a 580. Even the four gig model over the three gig model could actually yield some better results. Uh, but overall, this configuration is very upgradable. And if you were considering building this with the integrated graphics and you just didn't know whether it'd be worth doing now and then upgrading later, you can see now that the performance is more than worth it when you do upgrade it in the future. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, we will see you guys in the next one. Maybe. Good. Bye. Bye.